Queensland has hit a significant COVID milestone with 80% of people aged 16 and older now double vaccinated. The rate was set as the target for the state's borders reopening, which is due to happen from 1am on Monday. Here's Rachel Riga, who's in Brisbane. Hi there, Rachel. So was the milestone hit earlier than expected? Hi, Roz. Yes, the milestone was hit earlier than expected. So we did know that Queensland would hit 80% sometime this week. And it was the Prime Minister that broke the news this morning on Twitter. He tweeted out congratulations to Queensland and the Northern Territory for hitting the 80% milestone. So this was closely followed by a statement released by the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk. She congratulated Queenslanders as well and said to keep up the good work and says that all the credit uh, deserves to go to Queenslanders and she encouraged everyone to keep coming out and getting vaccinated so that we could reach 90% uh, to have 90% of the eligible population in Queensland aged over 16 to be fully vaccinated. So all of this comes ahead of Queensland opening its borders next Monday at 1am. So the road roadmap initially said that this uh, date was going to be the 17th of December or earlier when we hit 80%. So that has been today, Thursday, but uh, the state government said that they picked next Monday in order to give uh, people time to plan, in order to book flights and get those logistics in place, but to also give uh, health authorities and police and emergency service just all that time to be able to prepare uh, for when we do open our borders to interstate hotspot travellers. Mm. And Rachel, the state recorded no new cases of COVID today, but there is a warning that won't be the case for long. Exactly. So uh, the Deputy Premier Stephen Miles today said we recorded another double donut day, as they like to call it. So that means no local cases and no cases detected in hotel quarantine. However, he did say, given that we are opening up next Monday, that this is one of the last days that we can expect to see that. And they are particularly concerned about the Gold Coast. While we have hit 80 per cent overall in Queensland, there are some areas they've described as patchy areas that they're still quite concerned about particularly the Gold Coast and uh, the Deputy Premier Stephen Miles has flagged will probably start seeing those first cases emerge on the Gold Coast region as well. So he really did urge people on the Gold Coast to come forward and get vaccinated. But this is what the Deputy Premier Stephen Miles had to say earlier today about uh, recording no new cases today. And while of course that's worth celebrating, that's an incredible result, it might be one of our last. From next week, we should expect to start seeing COVID cases and we should have confidence that our high vaccination rate, as well as our ongoing public health measures, will keep people safe. So that was the Deputy Premier Stephen Miles. He was just urging people to uh, come forward and get vaccinated as well uh, across the state so we can keep pushing towards that 90% double dose mark as well.